Welcome to Lent Reflections Day 22. I'll be sharing with you a selection from today's scripture readings as well as other writings and poetry. For what great nation is there that has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? And what great nation is there that has statutes and ordinances so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed and keep your soul diligently, lest you forget the things which your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. Make them known to your children and your children's children. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, Till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. I am reading to you now from Francois Fenelon's book, Let Go. Faith seems to keep us constantly up in the air, never quite certain of what is going to happen in the future, never quite able to touch a foot to solid ground. But faith is willing to let God act with the most perfect freedom, knowing that we belong to him and are to be concerned only about being faithful in that which he has given us to do for the moment. The following poem prayer is in Elizabeth Gouge's book, A Book of Faith, by R. M. A Nun of Burnham Abbey. Lord, let me come near this year and see and hear and sing the mystery of God's self-emptying. God's will, it is no grandiose thing. It is the little service that we bring, the open eye, the open ear, to see, to hear, the insignificant and small, the heart of love to care, to share a brother's need, that smile that takes the strife from dreary daily life. God's will, it is the light of love, warmth, that lets the flower of faith from tiny seed, tight bud, burst forth, glorious in its simplicity. There as a babe he lies and cries this tiny thing sent by the will of God to let men know by way of manger and of cross God gives, emptying himself upon the earth. Man grasps and makes a name, seeks fame. God gives himself away and takes the lowest place, takes on himself the helplessness that every love must know. God's will for men, self-emptying, pouring out all their love, and so bestow healing of heart and mind sight to the blind. Let me come near this coming year to see and hear and sing the mystery of God's self-emptying. I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining with me today.